Good morning, sir. We have arrived at Sol 3. Our journey through the Messar Driftstream and the core stole field was without incident. We arrived 3.2 quants ahead of our projection. I have prepared nutrient assembly Delta 9. It has been synthesized according to your pre-selected template. Would you like to prepare for exploration? Great! Here is a quick brief on Sol 3, locally known as Earth. Sol 3 has a diameter of 12,742 clicks. Its atmosphere consists of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and trace elements of argon, carbon dioxide, neon, and methane. 71% of the surface is covered by water. Liquid form dominates Sol 3, though polar regions sustain a cryostate. The terrain profile is varied. Topography includes tall mountain peaks, deep canyons, silicate deserts, oxygen-rich forest systems, and highly structured urban habitats. Sol 3 has immense biospheric diversity. However, only one species demonstrates planetary-scale dominance. Homo sapiens, bipedal mammalian primates. Population, 8.1 billion. Primary attributes, advanced tool use, complex language systems, emotional variants, and a compulsion for hierarchical structuring. Their technological level is a 0.73 on the Kardashev scale. Capable of rudimentary space travel, electromagnetic data networking, and nuclear fission-based warfare. Notably, highly territorial, so be careful out there. Would you like to download this information onto your IntelliTab? Great, please present your IntelliTab. I'm sorry about that, sir. Would you like to order a new IntelliTab? Oh shit, I got a new order. Alright, so we got an order for an IntelliTab. Now I know what you're thinking. What the hell is an IntelliTab? The IntelliTab is a state-of-the-art space exploration device. Its simple design allows anyone to use it straight out of the box. Simply choose the planet you wish to explore, download its data set, and that's it. You can now view geographical data, elevation data, and much, much more with a simple shift of a joystick. IntelliTab, start exploring. Okay, so it's a pretty simple device. Now the issue is, I lost the designs for this, and so for this order we're gonna have to make it from scratch, which should be kinda tough. We'll see. But I'm breaking it down into two main parts. The first is the hardware and like the enclosure for it. Now for the hardware, we're using this LED matrix from Adafruit and then pairing that with the matrix portal M4 board chip thing to run it, and then a joystick. We just have to mount it all. But then the part I'm more scared about is coding it. We have to make sure it can display map data and move the thing and the, the chip's not that smart, so the coding part's gonna be hard. I'm more nervous about that. For now, we're just gonna shove that aside and focus on the hardware and the casing and the fun part. So let's get started. So I went ahead and designed this thing really quick. It's made out of 3D prints and laser cut acrylic. Now, whenever I use 3D prints, I like to add these threaded inserts for the screws just because I feel like it makes the whole thing feel more polished. But to be honest, I was smooth brain when designing this thing and decided to just add twice as many screws as I needed. I don't know why the thought never crossed my mind to be maybe a little more efficient with my screw use, but either way, still works. The LED matrix had these plastic little pegs sticking off, so I had to melt those off with the soldering iron. I really love the design of this thing. I don't really know what like aesthetic it is. Maybe like a Scandinavian mixed with a retro futurism, but honestly, I don't know. If you know what this design style is called, comment because I truly couldn't figure it out when trying to research. Originally, I was going to have the casing be made of like a stainless steel or like aluminum, but then they quoted me at like 300 bucks. And so acrylic seems a lot nicer at that point. And I do love this orange color. I feel like it's going to make the black and white screen pop just even more. And I just think it's more distinct, but maybe that's just me coping with the fact that I didn't want to spend the $300. But yeah, this is always the best part is when you go from like designing, just seeing on a screen to all of a sudden having it in your hands. But let me know what you think of the design.
we've got this thing assembled now. Wasn't too bad, pretty easy. I think it looks cool. Now I will say this front face here has to be recut because the joystick, I messed up a measurement or something. I don't know how I did it, but we gotta recut this front face. That should be easy though. So at this point, kind of gone as far as we can go. We're at the gates. We have to face our fears and it's time to code this thing. So I've been thinking about it a lot. I think I know how we're gonna do it. Pretty clever and should work. So my solution for the coding problem was to simply hand it to my brother, who's a software engineer. Here's the thing, he's a greedy little goblin and wouldn't just do this out of the kindness of his heart, so instead we struck a deal. In his free time, he's making this video game. It's like his dream game with StarCraft and League of Legends, but simplified. It actually, it's gonna be really cool. But he doesn't know how to do graphics, and so I spent the next week designing like walls for him, a little character, uh, some gold mines. And in the end, this was really worth it because when he explained to me how he coded this thing, I understood 0% of it. There's no way I would have been able to do it. But yeah, he gave it back to me and then all I had to do was get the joystick soldered onto the board and then hook that into the code to move this thing around and it's done. tab is done this thing turned out really cool it actually wasn't that hard to make to be honest but maybe because i didn't code it either way it's really fun to use and the joystick works really well like it's really intuitive but right now all we have is like world map data downloaded but the customer should be able to download and display whatever data they want so now the only thing we have left to do is to ship this thing but if you think this thing's cool and like this video please subscribe but if you don't think it's cool and don't like the video, then I guess don't subscribe. Either way, let's go ship this thing.